Hello, my name is Thomas Neubauer, VP of Innovations at Tioco and work task lead at ACGA, the Aerial Connectivity Joint Activity, initiated by GSMA and GUTMA, the Global UTM Association. It is my privilege to introduce to you the reference method for assessing cellular C2 link performance and RF environment characterization for UAS. What is this about? Well, the reference method defines the baseline for two critical areas in cellular connected drones. Part one, the assessment and characterization of the C2 link performance of a drone that is operated via cellular, meaning the autopilot on the drone is connected to a cellular modem. And part two, the assessment and characterization of the airborne RF performance provided by cellular networks, independent of an actual modem or drone. So you may ask, why is this important? Well, it forms the basis for fundamental services. The first service and the first problem it solves is an answer to the questions what to measure, how to measure, what is needed to interpret the data correctly and thus how to make the assessment and characterization of the airborne connectivity objective. In the second step, by doing so, the reference model allows you now to compare your measurements with the results of others. Is your network actually performing well or not? Furthermore, using the reference model as a global baseline helps to find an answer to the question what thresholds, which minimum performance requirements are actually good enough for safe C2 link operation in the airspace. And finally, comparing apples with apples allows a benchmark of different technologies and service provider performances. This is why we think the reference method is really important. If you're interested in cellular connectivity in the airspace, you better check this out and download it from the GSMA webpage.